day and we're about to get going. All our porters are behind us with our gear. They've all been weighed and checked. We've all got their passes. We're all loaded up, three of us, for our backpacks. We've got monkeys, keep us company. Uh, it's all got very misty and cloudy behind me, so we're expecting to get wet pretty shortly. Uh, but hopefully we'll get above all this weather pretty quick and uh, we'll get some fabulous views on the way up. But um, here we go. Day one of seven, um, we're off. How are we feeling? Yeah, super duper. Super duper yes, from Kepa. Really, it's still good, yeah. Holy poly from Bev. Holy day one. How are you feeling? Oh, he's doing good. Superstar. Yeah. Welcome to day two. Behind me you can possibly just make out our camp where we stayed last night. About 3,000 metres up, so over halfway up the mountain, although we've only climbed from 1800. Um, today, yesterday was the long walk, which we did mostly in the pouring rain. So all our clothes got wet, so fresh change of clothes. Today, um, last night was okay in the tent, a bit cold. Uh, today, fresh clothes, it's always nice. And we're doing the short walk, but it is short and incredibly steep. You see Bev and Tony behind me. It's like this, for about five hours, straight up. Very different day today. Check that out behind me. Well above the clouds this morning. 3,800 meters walking today. It's 4,600 to seven kilometers. And then depressing me back down to 3,800, back to where we started. It's the acclimatization day. But look at this behind me. Nice clear morning. There she is. Kibo, the crater of Kilimanjaro. 5,895 meters. Co camp, which you should better just see behind me. This is our camp. There's 
the Branco rule. Should be climbing up that today. And when we got to the top, we were greeted by that guy. That. Stunning, you can see the, the glacier just there. That's the M glacier. Windy. Uh, what's that to say? We're at Branco. Um, we're going to get up at 4 a.m. and we're going to try and climb. Conditions look good. We'll try and get some rest. Yep. And Tony's uh, struggled a bit today, but. Um, Give him some time to see if he can turn a bit of a corner. It looks like he already maybe has, so I'm hoping the three of us will be able to set off about 5 a.m. Which means, uh, what do we get? We get there, uh, barely think, it's ridiculous. Uh, five, six, we can't do five plus seven. Whatever that is, it's 12. <laughs> we'll be um, at the summit maybe, maybe midday. Then we'll come back down to this camp of Branco. And then we're gonna maybe carry on down a bit further to get out of here and somewhere a bit more comfortable. So, I've got all my summit gear on. I'm already in my sleeping bag, it's freezing. Even more so in the wind. Yeah, it's hopefully in the morning. Good conditions, we're all feeling well. Finger, that's fingers crossed. Tony and uh, give it a go, see what happens. Can't wait. <laughs> see you tomorrow. It's summer day. It's about 5 a.m. Push back the climb because it's, uh, it's way too windy in the night. It's improved now. Stella Point, 5,756 meters. Oh my god, here we are. Last two steps, five days of walking. Oh my god, look at the scene. Look at that glacier there. Like that the last few hours, there's a sign. Pretty much there's a couple of meters, meters in it. Sun's come out, it's got all clear. Oh god, it's beautiful. Oh my Let's go team, let's go, let's go, are you ready? Made it after my emotional outburst. 
the glaciers over there, aren't they beautiful? And that's the, you can see the edge of the caldera over there, yeah. crater room, more glaciers. There's a uh, Moenzi, the other peak, and that's back there. You can just see some people walk along the ridge, that's the way we've just come back to Stella Point. And then there's just some cloud coming in on the other side. There's some glacier there. Oh, it's so beautiful. There we are, we made it. Here we go, summit of Mount Kilimanjaro, 5,895 meters. And I can promise you I've left nothing on the table. This has been very, very hard. But the thing that kept me going was all the support that everyone's given me, the donations that people have made to Cancer Research UK, as you know, very close to my heart. And I just really appreciate it, you uh, making those great donations, such an awesome cause. Thank you for everything. It kept me going one foot after another when I could have easily given up. But knowing that you've all given so much, kept me going all the way and we're here. Now somehow I'm going to have to work out how I'm going to get all the way down this mountain again. But, you know, one thing at a time. Eh? <laughs> anyway, thanks everyone. It's been really appreciated. And we're here. making their way to Stella Point. Bev and Tony, what an amazing job. So proud. Just can't wait to join them at 